For years, we have seen how SpaceX has really transformed the space world with its radical innovations in the space world. It seemed as if they cannot outdo themselves with their impressive inventions previously, but what they just did with the launch pad turnaround has really shocked the whole space industry. Today, we will be talking about the shocking launch pad turnaround SpaceX undertook that has shaken the whole space industry. You must be thinking, what is this shocking launch pad turnaround and how did SpaceX manage to do it? Well, stick around to the end as we answer these questions and more as we delve into the intricacies surrounding the space company. Without further ado, let us begin. First of all, let us talk about what is actually going on. Well, Starlink Group 54 launched only last weekend at 12.10 a.m. EST, marking the first of two Starlink launches that occurred shortly after one another. If you find that impressive, well, it isn't just impressive, it is mind-blowing as the mission shattered the overall record for all three Falcon 9 launch pads, as well as the pad turnaround record for Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Now, isn't that crazy? The entire world's rocket business is undoubtedly shocked by this. Now you know all about what we are going to talk about in this video. However, you still must be wondering, what is a pad turnaround and how did SpaceX manage to set a record? Well, don't worry folks, we have got you covered. So what is a pad turnaround? A lot of people might not even know the term, even though it is quite simple and straightforward. Well, a pad turnaround in space travel refers to the amount of time it takes to prepare a launch pad for another rocket launch after a previous launch. Yes, it's really that simple and straightforward. But if I would need to explain the process further, well, it involves a range of activities such as cleaning, refueling, and checking the launch pad systems and equipment to ensure they are ready for the next launch. Basically, it covers the basics when it comes to readying the rocket for the next launch. But we talked about SpaceX setting a record time for its pad turnaround time. Well, the pad turnaround time can vary depending on a range of factors, such as the complexity of the mission, the type of rocket being used, and the availability of resources and personnel. For example, a simple mission with a small rocket may require only a few days of preparation time, while a more complex mission with a larger rocket may take weeks or even months. It all depends on the combination of factors that are used, which eventually decides how much time it will take for the turnaround. Speaking of which, shortening the pad turnaround time is an important goal for space agencies and private space companies, as it can help increase the frequency and efficiency of space launches and reduce the overall cost of space travel. I think it is fairly obvious that SpaceX used the best possible combination of factors, which eventually led them to have the fastest ever turnaround time. Fast turnaround times are becoming increasingly important for space companies, especially as the demand for satellite launches and other space missions continues to grow. That being said, let us now discuss some specific reasons why fast turnaround times are important for space companies. First of all, we have the issue of meeting launch windows. Many space missions have specific launch windows, and missing these windows can result in significant delays and additional costs. Fast turnaround times for rocket launches and other space vehicles can help ensure that missions are launched within the designated launch window. That is not all, as fast turnaround times can also result in cost savings for space companies. The faster a rocket can be launched or a satellite can be deployed, the less time and resources are required for preparation and launch, which can help reduce overall costs. And with more space companies entering the market, fast turnaround times can give companies a competitive advantage over their rivals. Customers who need satellites launched quickly are more likely to choose a company that can offer fast turnaround times over one that cannot. Lastly, we have innovation. Fast turnaround times can also spur innovation in the space industry. Companies that can rapidly develop and launch new space technologies are more likely to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration and create new opportunities for space-based applications. Now that we have discussed everything there is to know about turnaround times, I am sure you are all well placed to understand how SpaceX is achieving such amazing turnaround times. Let us now discuss this and understand why SpaceX is known for its efforts to reduce the turnaround time between launches in order to make space launches more frequent and affordable. In recent years, SpaceX has made significant progress in reducing its turnaround time for rocket launches. For example, the Falcon 9 rocket was relaunched for the first time in March 2017, just three months after its initial launch. In December 2017, SpaceX achieved its fastest turnaround time for a Falcon 9 rocket, relaunching a used rocket just 48 hours after its previous launch. 
As you can see, they have been gradually improving and getting better. Well, the story does not end there. In 2020, the company was able to reuse a Falcon 9 rocket for the fifth time, demonstrating the durability and reliability of its reusable rocket technology. The company has also developed a new rocket called the Starship, which is designed to be fully reusable and capable of carrying humans and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Overall, SpaceX's efforts to reduce turnaround time have helped to make space launches more affordable and accessible, which could have significant implications for the future of space exploration and commercial space travel. In the end, I would just like to say that it was very important for SpaceX to come up with faster turnaround times, as Elon Musk is pushing his workforce at SpaceX to quickly achieve goals. As a result, he wants quicker turnaround times, because only then they would be able to send rockets off quickly, and as a result would be able to do certain missions or test flights, which would give them more information that will help them to get better in the long run. These faster turnaround times will really benefit SpaceX in the long run, and I am sure they will benefit a lot from it and come up with innovative breakthroughs. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a new video from us. If you did enjoy the video, give it a like and leave a comment. We always love to hear from our viewers. And if you have any suggestions or requests, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.